Southern safety here. And tonight we're going to talk a little bit about the coronavirus again. This new variant from United Kingdom may create us quite a problem. It is possibly up to 70% more contagious. A lot of questions have come up. Is it more deadly? If it has the same virility or the same amount of damage as the current virus that's in the country, um, we're, in, we're in for a fight. If it is actually more deadly, then let's all uh, get our houses in order. If it's even a little less virulent, but because of the contagious part of this, this is where the big problem's going to come in. And I'm going to try to simplify this. Now, I'm going to try to keep the glare from being too much on this. But let's say we have a hospital. And in this hospital, this is hypothetical, but we have four nurses. And these nurses each take care of of four patients. So that's 16 patients with these four nurses. Now, typically on this virus, about 10 to 15% are gonna be hospitalized. So if we've got 4,000 people that's infected and we take 10%, that's 400, then you can see multiplication, this gets bad. If this thing, is tenfold as much, and instead of 4,000, we're talking 40,000 people are getting infected. Those people that are infected, we're still going to have people to come to the hospital. So even if it's not more deadly, but we have a tenfold increase, now we're talking all of these other patients that are going to need to come into the hospital. The problem we have is our hospital is still only so big and we still only have these four nurses or people who know how to run ventilators. You don't find these people who know how to run ventilators on every street corner. These are highly uh, defined pieces of equipment. Very specific. It takes a lot of training to know how to run one of these properly. So if they're maxed out on these patients, what's going to happen when we have this many more that comes into the hospital now? Somebody's going to get treatment and somebody's not. And that's just the cold, hard facts. These nurses will do everything they can. The respiratory therapists, the doctors, they will do everything they can to help as many as they can. But when you get to the point of where just sheer numbers overload the system, then you're in trouble. So some things we need to be doing now. If you don't want to take the vaccine, that's your choice. But this is real. This is not a cold. I know in my practice, I typically lose around five patients a year. I lost six the week of Christmas alone. And already this week, I've been uh, notified of, of two more. So my patients are from rural Southwest Virginia, Northeast Tennessee, Southeastern Kentucky. Uh, these are people that live a out in the country and they have limited contact, but it's still spreading and they're catching it. If it becomes, you know, something that's more prevalent, that's even more contagious, I hate to see what the numbers are going to be. So wash your hands. Try to distance yourself from other people as much as you can. If you want to wear a mask, please do. And if you wear a mask, cover your nose. Don't just wear it from the nose down. Uh, that's not doing you any good. Some people have just the, the plastic shields over their face. That doesn't work at all. You're still getting the air in around it and you're breathing it in. So right now, the science isn't telling us a whole lot about this new variant. Um, it's only come out in the last month and a half. 
So it is more contagious and it's spreading more rapidly. Will the vaccine work on that? I'm going to do a follow-up video, so keep your eyes out for that. Uh, but as it is right now, things we're, we're still not out of the uh, out of the flood yet. Uh, it looks like the floodgates are about to open. So just prepare, take care of yourself, take vitamin D, vitamin C, zinc, wash your hands, and limit contact, and protect you and your family as much as you can. Maybe things will turn out better, but we have to prepare for the worst case scenario. Hopefully it won't happen. Please be sure to hit the like and subscribe. This is Southern Safety, signing out.